Hello, this is Mrs. Rutan, and welcome to Lit in Comp 1. Uh, this is the intro video, just an instructional video to help you with the first day of class, especially if you are absent. Um, so as you can see, I will create a slideshow every day. I will post it on Google Classroom, and then what will happen is it will go over the agenda, it will go over what is going on for the day. Um, we'll always start with an opening activity. So today what we're going to do is talk about the syllabus and then also talk about your first assigned project which is called the soundtrack of my life. So when you guys do come back into the classroom you will know that I am a bell to bell operator. I do have some quirks and mannerisms that kind of help me navigate my classroom and I'm a big believer of starting immediately when class begins with that morning bell and then finishing the class at the um, to the bell. So what happens for fourth block is you'll have some type of PowerPoint or screen that will be open in front of the classroom with an activity. You can expect to do that activity even if I'm not in the room. Um, sometimes I'm in the hallway or talking to another student. But ultimately, to start class, there'll be some type of energizer or question to focus you in. So today's question that you would answer in a notebook or on a scrap sheet of paper is what kind of music or genre best defines you? What are some of your favorite songs? Um, I have kids, so I tend to make a lot of kid references, but if I were to look here, I think I'm kind of a rock troll and a pop troll. I tend to like rock and pop music, um, sometimes funk. Uh, and then also you could think about just some of your favorite songs or favorite artists. So for instance, Lady Gaga is one of my favorites. Um, I love Foreigner, anything from the 1980s, that kind of um, old rock is some of my favorites. And I'd like you to make a list. You can make a web. You could just kind of write down in a quick write format. But take a few minutes to think about music and what is your favorite or what helps define you. This will be relevant in a little bit. Okay, so welcome back. So once again, today is kind of getting used to who I am and how I operate. So you'll have an opening activity, and then what will happen is I'll go over the agenda. I'll always kind of show the agenda real quickly. Um, so as you can see, there's some nice links in here, like the syllabus. We'll talk a little bit about the song project, and then I'll always kind of discuss what the homework is. So the homework this week is just bring tech or be ready to do workshop on Thursday and Friday. And then if there's anything due, we'll talk about that. And then we always kind of talk about what's the goal. So today's goal is just to get a sense of what Lit and Comp 1 looks and feels like. Um, we're still working in pandemic territory, so we kind of know all of these things. Um, but ultimately, the big thing that I want to note that has been kind of consistent this year is ghosting. So what happens is a lot of kids... I know you guys are on quarantine, which is not pleasant. I've had my own kids on quarantine at least four times this year. But you got to make sure you're not ghosting me. Um, make sure you're emailing me or communicating with me. Um, curriculum still goes on. I will definitely be flexible, especially as people are actually sick. But when I don't hear from you guys for two weeks, it does kind of wreak havoc on what's going on in the classroom. So always reach out to me. I'm really good about communication and kind of working with you. Um, Another thing that is not pandemic, it's just me and school in general, is cell phones need to be away, bell to bell as well, just because those also create kind of a distraction from learning. So a little bit about me. Once again, I am Mrs. Rutan. I am an English teacher at Harper Creek. I've been here for over 10 years. This is my second time teaching Lit in Comp 1. I'm super excited about it because I am the AP Lit teacher. So what happens with Lit in Comp 1 and Lit in Comp 2 is we are really trying to encourage you to take AP Lit and actually kind of look at literature and college writing and college reading and kind of get you into the groove of that um, kind of literature experience. So I'm excited to teach this class and I'm excited to see what you guys have to share. I am a mom. I'm married. These are my three kids. I'll talk about them quite a bit. Um, I love animals, so I do have a cat named Catsby, who is, she was a kitten last spring. Um, she's now quite fat, but she's a good cat. And I am a Western and MSU grad. I love the fall. I'll talk a lot about traveling. Um, I live in an old house that we're renovating, so you'll hear a lot about that. And you'll also see some of this mentioned in my song track of my life presentation. So let's talk syllabus. What I'm going to do is kind of overview some key points on the syllabus. I would ask if you are not present that you actually read this a little bit more in detail on your own. 
So the first thing is the codes up here are really important to make sure you get logged on into the system as well as my email. Um, as you scroll down, you'll know vital class materials, classroom procedures, just those things that you have to do because you are a student and that's part of your job. Um, uh, grading, I am not doing late work. Um, I've noticed in the pandemic, um, like consequences for late work, it only um, snowballs things. So instead, I will reward you. So if you turn in all of your work in on time or 85% plus of your work, um, at the end of each unit, you could get extra credit. So that's kind of a reward system that I'm doing with late work. But ultimately, at the end of each unit, I can't take late work after that because we do have to move on and go through the curriculum. Um, some other things to keep in mind is communication, like I mentioned. And then here is my curriculum. So this is subject to change. This is only my second year teaching this, but this is what I did last year. We're going to start with night. Um, it's a book about the Holocaust. It is a nonfiction text in his experiences when he was in Auschwitz. He was a teenager. Um, we're going to use that to discuss memoirs or narrative, which is true writing on your life or your experiences. We'll also start looking at analysis. Like I said, this is kind of college-oriented English, and so literature analysis is a skill that we'll kind of keep coming back to each unit and looking at what an author writes and why. Um, the next we're going to do is one of my personal favorites. It's The Things They Carried. It is a Vietnam War book. It is actually a collection of short stories, so it's a little bit different in terms of structure. Very interesting book. Um, it's actually going to turn into, I think, a TV series here in the next year or two. And then we're going to do a play. We're going to do a very old play called Antigone, but it's not written um, like old Shakespeare. It is um, kind of easy contemporary writing when it comes to the actual translation. But it's about a girl who is faced with a difficult decision of following the law or challenging the law and kind of how she finds her independence and stands up for what she believes. Um, that will allow some really nice uh, discussion of character, just like we'll do chapter analysis here. We'll do character analysis here. And then we're going to do poetry. Um, poetry is something I know we don't do a lot of in the English classes, and it's really important to think about poetry as a form of literature, as a way of storytelling or critiquing, um, so that will kind of be our final unit. And moving down on the syllabus, um, because we look at the historical time periods of the Holocaust and Vietnam, those are very intense periods. They're also very violent periods of history. And I do like looking at visual complements to it, like films, but those films do have rated R ratings. So you want to make sure your parent is okay with this. Um, that will be part of the syllabus signature at the bottom. This is discussion about communication, like I mentioned before. Um, make sure you stay posted. And then finally, the homework assignment is located on the back. You guys will fill out the syllabus. Do make sure your parents initial that they're okay with the rated R films or the clips that I will show. And if there's any other concerns, you'll fill this out. Hopefully you're able to fill this out and then bring it back to me in person. If not, you could fill it out digitally and send it to me, um, or you could take a picture of it. But talk to me and we'll figure out the best way to get this syllabus signed for Friday. All right, so hopefully that kind of gives you a crash course of what Lit and Comp 1 is about and what we're doing. Um, once again, syllabus is due Friday, and now we need to talk about how to present and talk about who you are, and that is going to be the song track of your life, which will be due next week. So, what is the song track of my life? It is very much focused on music. Um, I love this project because it allows you to share out who you are, but to use music as kind of a symbol or a representation of yourself. So, looking at this handout, the goal is for you to... That is incorrect, so let me change that. The goal is for you to identify three songs that represent three significant moments in your life. You're going to make a presentation that's going to help showcase those experiences or those identity markers, and you're going to share it with me in the class. This is twofold. It allows me to get a sense of who you are, but it also allows me to get a sense of how you interpret and pick apart things, and music is a pretty easy thing to do in that respect. Um, in terms of the process, kind of take a few minutes today, especially the first day. I know we won't start this in class because we're on a shortened schedule, but take a few minutes to think about significant moments in your life. 
make a big super list, and then ultimately you will narrow it down to three. But you also could think about songs that are really important to you because maybe the memories come out of those songs, especially as you listen to them. Um, you will create a presentation. Um, you'll share the three songs and the three memories. And then finally, what will happen is you'll also create an album cover. So all of this will make more sense when you get my future lessons and also when you look at my sample. But if you need to see the end result now, this is an example of what I did. So here's my three songs. And then I did a little bit of discussion and kind of talked out the different things, used a lot of personal pictures. Um, if you need to, you can look at the example presentation that I will post um, in a few minutes. But you can see the idea is for you to share out um, some information about your lyrics and your story and your song. Make sure your presentation is creative and then obviously you will share it out with me um, so I can get a sense of who you are. So going back, the goal today is really start thinking about what songs or memories you want to share. Um, as you can see, these are kind of the steps. We won't get much into actually creating the slideshow today because Wednesday is a short end block. But hopefully you're starting to brainstorm and think about what memory and what soundtrack or what song really clues in that memory. And for closing, I hope you guys have some ideas. I hope you are a little bit more familiar with my class and expectations. And ultimately, hopefully you understand that we do have an assignment and it is coming up and it will be workshop for Thursday, Friday, as well as the syllabus signature. So thank you and good luck.